Hello guys, girls, and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I want to make nitric acid. The normal way to do this for a hobby chemist would be mixing a nitrate salt with sulfuric acid. Sadly, sulfuric acid is no longer accessible for normal people in the EU, so I had to look for alternatives. One of those alternatives is phosphoric acid. I was able to buy a liter of 70% phosphoric acid for about 15 euros. Phosphoric acid should react with a nitrate salt, in my case potassium nitrate, to produce nitric acid and potassium phosphate. The ideal scenario would be that one molecule of phosphoric acid reacts with three molecules of potassium nitrate, forming three molecules of nitric acid and one molecule of tripotassium phosphate. But it is also possible that phosphoric acid is not strong enough for this and only reacts with one or two molecules of potassium nitrate forming one or two molecules of nitric acid and monopotassium or dipotassium phosphate. But this is something we will find out later. I started this experiment with a simple desolation setup connected to a gas trap containing a sodium hydroxide solution against nitric acid vapors and nitrogen dioxide gas. One mole of potassium nitrate was added into the flask. To this 0.4 moles of phosphoric acid was added. There was no reaction happening right away, so heating was started. After about 30 minutes, the first distillate started condensing at about 100 C. Over the next 30 minutes, the temperature rose slowly to 120 C and stood there. At the same time, nitrogen dioxide started evolving. The distillate came coming over was looking more and more yellow, which is a good sign. One hour later, the distillate became slightly green. I was uncertain why this was happening, because the flask was clean, which must mean that the compound giving this color is a volatile and came over with the other distillate. At this point, I stopped the distillation because there was nearly no distillate coming over anymore. When looking into the distilling flask, I was able to see that the reaction mix has solidified. Next I set up a new distillation, this time with one mole of potassium nitrate and one mole of phosphoric acid. It behaved very similar but produced more distillate that was slightly green too. Unlike the first one, at the end of this distillation the stuff in the distilling flask was molten and only solidified after cooling. Here are now both distillates. Both have become colorless and there was no trace of green left. I speculate that the compound giving this color was some kind of volatile preservative from the phosphoric acid that slowly reacted with the nitric acid becoming colorless. But anyway, to find out which one of those reactions was better, I, need, I needed to calculate the yield. I measured the weight and the volume of both acids, which gave me the density. From this I was able to find out the concentration, using this book. It is called a short handbook of chemistry, and contains a lot of useful data.
For example, a density table from which I was able to find out that the first distillation gave me 18.5 milliliters of 38% nitric acid, which corresponds to a yield of 17.3%, and the second one gave me 44.5 milliliters of 44% nitric acid which corresponds to a yield of 47%. I also did a third distillation using 1 mole of potassium nitrate and 0.7 moles of phosphoric acid, which gave me 32 milliliters of 42% nitric acid, which corresponds to a yield of about 27.2%. Now, although these are not enough reactions to come to a reliable conclusion, I can still speculate that the phosphoric acid is not able to form the tripotassium phosphate, but rather the monopotassium phosphate and maybe small amounts of the dipotassium phosphate. Therefore, the best yield can be achieved by mixing one mole of phosphoric acid with one mole of the nitrate salt. I hope you liked this video. Bye.